the pre-dawn attack caught Al-Shabaab militants off guard. On Friday, Kenyan troops approached Kismayo from the north, the south and the sea in an attempt to drive the insurgents out of their last stronghold in southern Somalia. For the Kenyan forces to move in and uh, hopefully to be joined by the other African forces, uh, that is a significant victory because they would be then cutting uh, the lifeline of the Al-Shabaab. The insurgents acknowledged on Saturday that they'd pulled out of the city, but vowed to continue fighting to wrestle back control over the area. Last night, after more than five years, the Islamic administration in Kismayo closed its offices. Kismayo shall be transformed from a peaceful city governed by Islamic Sharia into a battle zone. The capture of Kismayo deals a huge blow to the Al-Shabaab. Taxes levied on goods arriving at the port have generated millions of dollars in revenue. They've also been using the seaport to funnel in weapons and other supplies. The city is also a major base for pirates operating in the area. For the last 18 months, African Union forces from Kenya, Uganda and Burundi have been trying to free Somalia from the Islamist fundamentalists that filled the power vacuum left behind by two decades of civil war. Last year, they drove the Al-Shabaab out of Mogadishu, ending four years of the militants' control over the capital. But since then, the insurgent group has switched to guerrilla tactics, staging frequent suicide bombings and ambushes, including the assassination of a member of parliament last weekend.